Hi guys, this is Sadek from Rodden.com and in this video, we'll show you how to fix the issue of smart view not working on a rooted Samsung phone. So many users have said that they are unable to use the smart view app on their phone as soon as they obtain root. So if that is the case with your phone as well, then I will make you aware of the reason behind this issue and more importantly, how to fix this issue. Well, the culprit as you might be aware is a rooted phone, but once you root the phone, the WLAN, WFD, HTCP service gets corrupted. So to rectify this issue, you all have, you just have to disable the service. As soon as you disable the service, the smart view feature will once again work on your rooted Samsung phone. So regarding the disabling of the service, there are two approaches that you could take. The first approach is simply using a single line of command in the Termux app or any app of your choice, which allow you to type in the command on your Android phone. Whereas the second method ask you to type in a single line of command in the build profile. The second me method is quite complicated because nowadays most of the Samsung phone requires your phone to be RW which is read and write. So until then unless you do so, you will only be able to see the build profile but you might not be able to make any changes to it. So you will have to make the system RW and that is quite a complicated process. So a much better and easier way out will be to do so via the Termux app. With that said, I'll show you both the methods. So let's get started. First and foremost, install the Termux app on your phone from Play Store or any th third party site of your choice. Once you have installed the app, launch it. Now type in SU and hit enter. You will now get a magic prompt. Tap on grant. And with this, it has now got the request. So now you have to copy paste the entire command. So type in SU space. Then it's dash C dash c again space then set prop which is the set properties then space and service name which is wlan dot wfd again dot hdcp hdcp then space the property value which is disable and hit enter and with this, as you could see, the service has been disabled. You will simply get a new line of command, which signify that the older command has been executed successfully. Now, just to be on a safer side, do a restart one and upon a restart, the smart view feature will now work on your rooted Samsung phone. So apart from that, there exists one more method and this involves making a change to the build profile. So for that, let's first verify if this task could be carried out on a RO which is read only system or not if it could be carried out well and good otherwise you will have to make the system RW so simply first and foremost install a file manager app which supports root I am using the solid file manager app install from play store then launch it then let's skip the initial setup process and you will now have to give it the storage access give it then go back and then you will get a prompt tap on grant and from here choose root directory and under the root directory you will get a prompt from the magisk tap on grant and we are now inside the root directory so now you may use the search bar and search for the build dot profile and verify the result it might take a few seconds as you could see we have got the file so open the file using the sc text editor app and with this we are now inside the file so even if your phone is not rw you will still be able to access the file that is not a cause of concern the major issue arises when you want to make some changes to the file so let's try it out and see if it works for us or not so let's try to make any changes to it and see if it works or not for the sake of reference i am just making a random change let me input 2 and hit the save button so in my case i am able to make any changes whatsoever to the file without making the system rw if that is the case with you as well then there is no need to make the system rw but on the other hand if you are not able to make any changes to the build prop file then you could refer to my guide on how to make system partition rw there are two methods the fast boot method and the recovery method if you have a custom recovery then you may try out via the custom recovery itself but if you don't have a recovery then you may use the fast boot method i have made a video and a guide on both these methods separately this is for the fast boot and this is for the recovery 
you may refer to my guide and get this job done you simply have to flash a module and then refer to the on screen instruction i have given the screenshot as well so carry out the steps and then your system partition will be or rather the super partition will be rw which will make the system rw as well and then you have to open the build prop file over here once you have opened the build prop file you have to then simply type in this command anywhere you want so it's always a better approach to type in somewhere towards the end but make sure to type in above the value of the hashes it should be somewhere above hashes so let me type in here simply now type in the value which is just make sure the upper case and lower case are not mix matching the value is wlan dot wfd then dot h d c p again dot or rather this time it's equals to so we are inputting the value equals to disable and then save it so it's wlan dot wfd dot h d c p equals to disable once that is done hit the save button and you will now see a green icon which signify that the changes have been saved if in your case you are getting a red icon then that signify that the system partition is only r o in your case read only and you cannot make any changes in that case i am repeating once again you have to simply make your system r w via the fast boot method or the recovery method and then you may try out this step and with this your task stands complete just do a restart once and after the restart the smart view feature will now work on your rooted samsung phone so the culprit is the wlan wfd hdcp service what we have to do is simply disable this service and after that you will be able to use the app without any issues so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching